In this video, we're going to show you the proper way to disassemble a pendant logger and replace the battery. What we have here is we have a, uh, this is the temp only pendant. This is the UA001. And we also have the pendant event logger, which has the cable coming out of it. And that's used in the tipping bucket rain gauge, the RG3 and RG3M. So we're going to talk about replacing the battery in both of these devices. Let's start with the temp logger. There's another model of this. There's actually, well, actually two others. The pendant temp light, which has a green label, and the pendant G, which has a purple label. The battery replacement would be similar. Uh, in those as this um, temp only. A couple of things to um, look at before we disassemble it. This area right here between the CE mark and the wheelie bin, you can see there's a little window cut out of this label. This blue part is a internal label. We'll show you how, to, uh, how that comes out. These are the infrared LEDs. This is how the device communicates. This cannot be covered. So when you're looking at this, if, it's, if your logger's been deployed for a long period of time, and the case is scratched in this area, or it's um, fouled or something, you, we have to make sure that this area is kept clean so the logger can communicate. If there's any doubt at all in your mind uh, of the integrity of this case, we sell replacements. You can replace the case. The other thing to keep in mind before we take it apart is have a look at the orientation of the spline down the back of the logger here. There's a ridge that acts as a keyway that allows you to put the logger in the correct orientation in the base station or in the shuttle. This is a, a base U1, or what people call pendant coupler. It says pendant coupler on it. It's really the base U1. And you can see that there's a, a corresponding slot in here that the logger slides into. So we wanna make sure that when we put this together, we have it in the case the right way. Many, many times we get customers who call us and they have assembled it upside down and it won't communicate. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the two screws here, the stainless steel screws. We have our small screwdriver and we'll remove those and open the device. We've removed the two stainless steel screws and now we're going to Pull the top off. There's an O-ring that seals this, so you have to give it a little bit of a pull, and that will come out. Keep in mind that this O-ring should be lubricated. You can use silicone lubricant. Uh, that will work just fine. Keep that nice and lubricated so that um, it goes back together easily. You don't need a lot of material on here, but enough to uh, keep it sealed. The other thing that you'll notice in the top, this is an older version, by the way, of the pendant. The newer ones have a, a black top to uh, mitigate um, infrared uh, light intrusion when you're offloading the logger in the field. This is an older design. This is a desiccant pack. You notice this one is pink. Uh, so yeah, desiccant packs will pick up moisture from the air. If you're in a humid environment, they'll turn pink very, very quickly. So you can recondition this by putting it in an oven and setting that oven to a, uh, a fairly low temperature, uh, something like um, maybe 30, 35 degrees C or 100 degrees Fahrenheit, and uh, let, it, let it cook in there and it will uh, dry out the, the silica gel in there and it will turn blue again. Or you can purchase new desiccants from Onset. So here's our pendant, and we want to take this out of the case, so just tip it upside down and give it a tap. And you'll see that the PC board and the label come out. Make sure to hold this by the edges. These, these are static sensitive, so you want to be very, very careful uh, if you're in a, a very dry environment. Uh, you want to mitigate any kind of uh, static discharge. You may want to touch your fingers to metal before you start handling this just to make sure you um, get rid of any static discharge that are on your, that's on your fingers. Then we want to just push this 
battery out of here. It's a CR2032 battery, coin cell battery. For those of you interested, this is the thermistor right here where the temperature measurements are made. So I have my new battery. You can see this outer case is the positive, this, this holder is the positive terminal. Underneath there's a pad in the, um, on the PC board. So you can turn this so you can see it. There's a pad under there, that's the negative side. So we wanna make sure that we have the battery in the right way. There's a plus right here, Just slide it right in. Now that the battery is replaced, we want to reassemble the device. Remember, when we were looking at the logger before, this is the back where the spline is, where this keyway is. So we want to make sure that the logger is oriented correctly in here. So a good way to remember that is battery. This is the battery holder. This is the back. So battery back. Okay. So we're going to get that label so that it slides in just in front of where the board goes in. And what I like to do is put this in together with the board because we want to make sure that it goes into the right configuration here so it doesn't curl under. So you see here, let's see if I can get this right, like so. So line it up with the board and just slide them both in together very carefully. There. So now you can see this is not curled under and it's not, this window is not impeding the infrared LEDs. Very important that this is put in correctly and the battery is oriented towards the spline in the back, which is correct. So now we can take our, either our new fresh desiccant pack or our reconditioned desiccant pack, stick it into the top like so and reassemble the logger. Disassembly of the pendant event is similar. I've removed the two screws from the top. This you just grab onto that grommet and wiggle a little bit. Keep in mind that the board is attached to these to this cable, so you have to be very careful. Just pull this out so that it uh, unseats from the O-ring and just slide the device out. Like so. This one, the desiccant pap slides in alongside the logger. You want to make sure that desiccant pack is in the back of the logger, not in the front, again, because of our infrared LEDs here. Again, this is a label. So here's our infrared LEDs. Here's our battery. We pop that out, replace it, put a new one in there, and then we want to reassemble it, just like the other one. So remember, spline is in the back. Back is where the battery goes. Once we have the battery replaced, we want to get this back into the case. So what I like to do is loosen this grommet and push the cable out a little bit so I have a little bit of room to work. So see, I extended that a little bit. So again, here's our case with the spline down the back. Here's our label. Label goes in the front right here. So we'll start that in place. Again, battery towards the back. So we're just going to get this started. We have to put our desiccant pack in. We're going to put that below the battery like so. And then slide the whole assembly back together. Nice and easy. Okay. There we go. And now we can see we have it back together the correct way. Here is our infrared LEDs that are exposed. There's my desiccant pack, there's my battery, there's my spline, so I have it in the right orientation. And now we can just slide this cable down nice and easy. Okay, and just kind of seat that O-ring. Again, you want to make sure that O-ring has a little lubrication on it. A little silicone grease will work. Slide that down into place. There we go. And put the screws back in and then tighten down this grommet nice and tight on that cable. You can just use your fingers. That will be tight enough. One last note, after changing a battery, you will get a notification in Hoboware the first time you launch it that the battery po the power's been reset, which is completely normal. That's a normal thing. So if we go into the launch screen and you'll see the, the logger's power has been reset. Well, yes. And again, it says this occurs when replacing the battery. So perfectly normal. Once you launch the logger, this um, message goes away. And we go into our launch 
screen and configure the logger for our next deployment.